Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Marie Adventure. Well, uh, if you have been watching my previous videos about USPS, thank you. And if this is your first time, welcome. So, uh, oh my God, this it's pollen season. Pollen season is killing me. Anyway, um, in order for you to have a good experience during orientation, all you have to do is follow the rules. That's all. Whatever the uh, people in charge in the orientation tells you, just do it. It's not hard. It's very easy. They, all they want to do is to get the orientation run smoothly and very organized. So your participation is very much appreciated. But uh, let me tell you about the don'ts or do not because during the orientation, some people, like two of them, two of them got sent home, was sent home. And they missed the chance, they missed the opportunity. And you know, you, you took the exam, you, you applied, you took the exam, you took the fingerprint, you went to the hiring assessment or hiring assignment. You went through all of this and it took like months or weeks to do it and then during the orientation you will just uh, you will put all this effort to waste by by not following a simple rule okay that rule is do not use your cell phone during orientation that's it the two the two got sent home because they were using their cell phone during the orientation it, it is a very simple rule right so uh, this is what happened before they before they bring you up to the orientation room or the classroom they will tell you to turn off your cell phone so right there and then i turn off my cell phone and then uh, if you don't follow the rules, they will send you home right away. So, so far, people abide to the rule. They turn off their cell phone. But I know some people just put it on vibrate, on silent. And then when we went up to the room, when the orientation is going on, one of the potential employee keep on looking on her apple watch no you have an app people when you have an apple watch you can see the text coming in you know the email messages calls coming in everything is signaling in apple watch right and then uh the the one of the anyway by the way let me tell you the orientation room there is a camera in every room there is a camera so they see what's going on so this lady keep on looking at her apple watch the the leader of the the orientation came in and she she told her come here with me bring your stuff and then i was waiting for her to come back she was sent home so she's gone just because she's looking at her Apple Watch. And then the second time, there's this lady. She keep on she have a purse, I mean a wallet. But her wallet is have her, have a cell phone in it. You know there's a cell phone case that's a wallet, you know, cell phone case and wallet in one. So that's what she have. But and then the 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 orientation leader told us not to put our cell phone on top of the table, you know, the desk. Uh, she already, he already gave him, gave her a warning once, but she, she didn't, you know, she just disregarded him. She still put that cell phone case, even though you can see the cell phone because it's inside the wallet, right? She still put that case, cell phone case on top of the table or on, on top of the desk. And then uh, she was given two opportunity to keep it, she, but she didn't do it. So 
she was sent home too. So, you know what? All those times that you were doing the exam, fingerprinting, the time that you put into it, you just put it to waste, you know? You just threw it away. And then the potential of getting hired as a USPS employee. So, uh, maybe, you know, maybe this job is for you. Maybe it's not. But why don't you give it a try and earn some money, right? Earn some money for the, the time being that you are being hired as a temporary or seasonal, you know? So, uh, that's what I'm saying. I hope you get the message that... Whatever they said, they say keep keep yourself on the way during the orientation. What's hard? Is that hard? You know, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> because I feel bad or... Anyway, I should not, right? I should not feel sorry for them because if they don't want to follow the rules, right? That's them. You know, I did, I did my part. They don't want, they don't want to do their part. They keep on checking their text messages. They don't want to put away their phone under the table, you know. I don't know. Some people are very stubborn, you know. Maybe they're not serious. Maybe they're, they don't want to get this job. Who knows? Maybe they want to jeopardize themselves so they don't want to get the job. So uh, it's up to them, right? So that's what I'm... That's what... That is what... That's my, uh, that is my, uh, my advice. Sorry, I'm getting this tongue twister. So, s that is my advice to you during orientation. Just turn off your phone. You know, turn it off. That's it. And I think this rule does, is, is, doesn't only apply in USPS. It applies everywhere, right? When you're looking for a job, you're in orientation. Or you even when you're in a movie, right? When you go to the movie, it will say... Please turn off your cell phone. Is it that hard? So anyway, uh, good luck. If you are applying for USPS, good luck on your orientation. Good luck on your fingerprinting. And hopefully one day, if you see me in the, in the plant, please say hi to me. You know, uh, maybe this face is recognizable. <laughs> Just say hi to me. And if you like this video, please thumbs up and subscribe because uh, I'm gonna put up, I'm gonna drop more videos about USPS. And if you have question, please put your question. I'm going to answer it one by one. Okay, I'm gonna make another video answering your questions. Okay, thank you. Please subscribe. Don't forget like and share. Bye.